I, I'm a social worker. And so this particular day, I had two visits that uh, I was scheduled to do. <laughs> Both of the households, I should say, were involving people who were known or supposed to be aggressive. And so I was a little anxious about going a little fearful. I kind of worked things up in my head about what I might experience. And I started feeling what I thought was anxiety. It was in the center of my chest. It was not pain, but it was, just, it was, it was uncomfortable. Um, at the end of my visits, which was around 2 o'clock, the discomfort was persistent, and then the pain started about five minutes or so after, so it was about 2.15. It began with the pain in the same area, right in the center of my chest, and then I, I felt pain in my wrist, my left wrist. And then it, sh it shot down my arm, and then I felt pain in my jaw. So I had to call my supervisor and let her know that I was going to be taking myself to the hospital because I thought I was having a heart attack. Lisa did right in recognizing that something is wrong with my body and I need to get help. And, and also her awareness that, hey, this could potentially be something with my heart. This could be a heart attack. By the time I was actually able to get some um, medical staff to work on me, they immediately started with the blood thinners and, and um, you know, doing whatever other testing they need to be done. So the next morning, they took me in about 7 a.m. or so and did a, um, the heart catheterization. And they found that I had had a spontaneous coronary artery dissection. Spontaneous coronary artery dissection, or SCAD, is actually a rare cause of all heart attacks, but it has recently been recognized and reported that is, it is one of the more common causes of heart attacks among people under the age of 50 years. What happens with SCAD is that the artery either tears or that there's a bleed into the wall of the artery, and that's what causes the blockage or narrowing in the artery, the lack of blood flow to the heart, and the heart attack. This was a situation where there's no health markers that, were, that would have indicated that I was a candidate for a heart attack. And so it was, it was kind of an enigma almost because it was, well, you don't have any blockage, so how did this happen? In Lisa's case, she had an underlying condition called fibromuscular dysplasia, or FMD, which is a blood vessel disorder that affects mainly women and can affect vessels, arteries throughout the body, including the heart. And the presence of this condition increased her risk of having the SCAD. But I'm grateful to the medical team, um, you know, who, who, who was there to help me, that everybody who was there was there, and they were on it. But I have heard of other people who have been younger than me even, who have had heart attacks and unfortunately did not make it. I still consider myself lucky. Because my children worry about me, they worry about me constantly. And um, two boys, two young men, excuse me. It's just been us, you know, it's our, our, our family motto, our, house, our household motto is, it's us three against the world. So I, I feel like my prognosis um, is, is a good one because of the fact that I have uh, made my, my uh, health a priority. My heart itself is strong, but my body, which is a miraculous thing, will be able to heal itself. I do, I really feel good about, about the future and going forward, especially, um, you know, with the medical team that I have now, um, I feel really good.